And we're back. Okay. Well, while it's true that the defendant was standing in front of the victim when he died, it doesn't mean somebody else couldn't have struck the victim at that time. If you're going to go that far, then I hope it means you have another angle of approach ready. Exactly. I mean, who, who with the accused standing in front and center could have done it? <laughs> Unless you can back up your claim, it's nothing more than a conjecture. Okay, come on, Phoenix. I know I can think of something convincing. Where else could the victim have been struck from? Gee, hmm. I wonder. That's a tough one. I'm pretty sure... Let's see. Yeah. Right there. Right there. I think that's correct. <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> the answer is from this location, We're gonna get idiot. A penalty. From there, using the treasure box as a murder weapon. Uh, I guess nobody could reach that far or through <laughs> a wall. <laughs> no, my bomb, no! Nothing but lies and claptrap every time you open your mouth. Very lawyer-like. Plus, those aren't bombs. They're like little ghost trick logos. Oh, I thought they were little bombs. <laughs> They're little spirits. Your Majesty, I would be very judge-like of you to give him a penalty at this time. Indeed. Okay. Did they just kill a spirit? They just killed a soul. They sent it to the Twilight Dimension. The Shadow Realm. No. Gram Grandpa, no. Okay, so if, if not there, then <laughs> my second choice would have to be... Behind you. Right behind you. With the defendant standing in front of the victim, isn't it possible that the victim could have been struck from and... Just going out on a limb here, behind? Also, why didn't the autopsy report say if he was where he was struck? Their autopsy reports probably aren't as good, because Dick Gumshoe ain't doing them. Mm. From behind, you say? Hmm, I see. Yes, I suppose now that's not outside the realm of possibility. Good. Now at least I have some breathing room. But who do you suppose could have done it? Winston Payne. Yeah. Oh, uh, the true culprit, naturally. The one who actually committed the theft and the murder. The true culprit. And I suppose you have a true timeline of events to go along with that. I should have known I'd have to explain everything. Has Phoenix never played an Ace Attorney game? No. He's only lived an Ace Attorney life. Mm. All right. If we assume the true culprit struck the victim from behind, then that means... Boop, doop, 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 doop. After going to the treasure room and stealing the treasure, the true culprit tried to escape. But then Mr. Rolf appeared making his rounds. I imagine the culprit quickly hid in the storeroom that is here at the other end of the hallway. <laughs> You're grasping at straws, Mr. Wright. Admit it. You know nothing but base... This is nothing but baseless conjecture. Uh, I'm going to look for something to base it on right now. <laughs> It'll be based conjecture. I'll be. I'll be. 
when you ran into Mr. Roll in the hallway, what was was there anyone around the storeroom area? I don't know. There might have been somebody there, but I couldn't see. Can you get that dog off your head? It's <laughs> distracting. It's not quite like the hit Okay, here. so instead of... I, I was thinking they worked together, but maybe they didn't work together, but the guy was, like, hiding. Yeah. It was Mr. Hat. Yeah. I was only halfway down the stairs, so I couldn't see the ends of that hallway. I see. Swing and a miss. Shadow saw him, though. Oh! Shadow says that someone was there! I want to... Judge! <laughs> Let Shadow take the stand. I changed my mind. <laughs> rough, 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 rough. Uh, press him on that. <laughs> I, I see. Thank you for that. Too bad his testimony is inadmissible. <laughs> You think this is a joke? Maybe the defendant didn't appear to see this other person. But that doesn't mean the true culprit couldn't have been in that hallway. Your desperate floundering is getting hard to watch. But I will enjoy watching you sink. What are you talking about? Unfortunately for you, only the accused and the victim were there in the hallway at the time of the incident. You don't know but that. he was hiding. He specifically hid so that you wouldn't know that he was there. How can you continue to make such expectations, stupid? Because there was a witness! Oh, here we go. I wonder who it could be. What? It's old bag. Oh, hell yeah. Your Majesty, the prosecution would like to call a witness to the stand. Calling an eyewitness to the stand, eh? It's been a decade since that's happened. And unlike the defense witness, you can rest assured that there are no pets involved. You don't know that. <laughs> that was a low blow. Very well. I'll allow it. And now for something we've not heard in quite some time. Bring the witness to the stand. So I'm thinking this might be a good part to uh, stop at today. Okay. Oh, it's Jesus! Oh my god. <laughs> we have to cross-examine Jesus! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, in this unpre unprecedented turnabout, we will interview Jesus in a Curanian temple. Guess that's what we're doing tomorrow. Uh, you should say. Oh, okay. It's this little button down here. Yeah. Yep, we'll be here tomorrow. That's Sunday at noon? Uh, at noon? I'm thinking maybe a little later tomorrow. Okay. So maybe 2? We'll be here tomorrow at 2 Pacific Standard Time for another edition of Stream X Right Ace Attorney 6. I'm super excited to get more into this game. Me too. Because I've been liking it so far, but the tutorial case is always the worst case. Yeah, it's always boring as frick. And I'm really excited for, like, Apollo to show up and everybody else. Yeah. Apollo and... And Trucy, Old Bag. Maya. Brushel. Oh, no. Eldoon. Uh. <laughs> but that's it for today's stream, gang. See you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.